Hey y'all, Grown Black Folks Talk back out on the climb and we have come to that time of year starting around mid-May where I have to try to keep the sun out of y'all's eyes. <laughs> so slightly different orientation and location today. Um, I just had the thought, I have noticed that we are still, we are in week two or is this is the end of week two we're still arguing about that bus driver. And I want to just give us a heads up on some things, okay? I try hard not to As you notice, I deal with my topic and I move on. And pretty much everything I think I'm going to say about the conversation between uh, Ms. Emily Williams and Ms. Elania Van Sant about what Ms. Williams wants and Ms. Van Sant's question about would you marry a bus driver. If you've noticed, I have not even answered that question. I took a slightly different tag for us learning about it because I recognize the genius in human beings comes from God. And so it does not matter how the genius is educated or not, the genius is there. Meaning that anybody can tap in from any position. It depends on how long it's going to take and how long it's going to take in life and how that works out in money is a whole different question. But the other thing, I was talking to a black male friend of mine and in talking with him I realized something interesting. Now he is on the opposite side of the question, obviously. But we were talking about Book T. Washington and W.B. Du Bois, and we are talking about how black people at that time who sided with either one of these two men didn't understand that you need both the tradesmen and in, this, in the modern economy that was developing then, you also needed people who were college educated. You needed both. Now today, you need tradesmen, college educated, and tech workers, and those things can overlap or not. But when we sit, when, when the black men sit around talk, telling black women that education is not important, and black women sit around talking about, about no means what I did to trade a bus driver, and neither appear to be putting the time necessary to get on top of this tech, what that says to everybody that does know about those things is that we don't understand the building of an economy and how strong economies give respect and honor to every person in them because everybody is important. You need a tradesman to keep up the bus. You need a driver to drive the bus so that everybody else gets to work. It also needs to be noted there is an overlap between tradesmen and business closer than it is college educated in business. College education trades teaches you to work primarily. That's primarily what it does. Now back in the day, if you do your mathematics, you would know that college was for people that did not have to work. That was for the upper class in Europe. And these are people who were considered scholars, who got scholarships to study with their fellows in certain professions that required more intellectual labor because they were either serfs or slaves who were going to do that labor. And then if you were considered worthy, you received a fellowship and a living to remain among your fellows and potentially then turn to a master or a doctor who would then turn around and teach in that subject. If you look at the old college and university systems, you would find this out. But today, we have now completed a college degree with certain jobs. And this is also the, the part about college being for people who have money has remained, which is why you have this massive student debt that immediately you must go to work and attempt to deal with. Whereas a tradesman going into business does not have to deal with this. It may take time before that person can form a business out of their ideas. They may have to work very hard, but that provides access to getting into a business faster in general. Now you can go to college and study business, but I'm just saying you need both. And then the tech worker, the very specialized tech worker, is neither one because you can get tech certificates to get jobs in this place. And you know, can you do the work matters. In other words, it's closer to a tradesman in some way. Hey, beautiful, how are you? Little dog came over here. Um, so when we sit around arguing about this and talk about you know, your stuff isn't important and your stuff isn't important. What we're declaring to the world is that we don't understand how the economy is built. And that tells everybody that, number one, black people will not have an economy again, the way we did when W.E.B. Du Bois and Brooke T. Washington were on the scene. We will not be able to build that again. And that also tells everybody to whom black people seem intent on trying to escape that we only belong in a servile position because we don't understand how to be <laughs> fellows, masters, or doctors of the art of putting together an economy. 
Because here's the other thing. You know, people that live on their investments don't worry about all these blue collar, white collar. They're beyond that. That's a conversation about earned income. People who live on their business income have businesses that may have blue collar and white collar components, but they are capitalists. They own it. Again, they don't participate in arguments about earned income. Let me tell you a little something about me. My grandmother, my grand, my mother, college educated. My grandfather was a tradesman. My father was a tradesman who also a genius theologian. Went back, got his master's degree, and then got an honorary doctorate. So where he started, but the way he saved, he, you know, he saved our family from going into the degradation we took over the neighborhood. He had the income because he's a longshore. But that didn't prevent him from being a genius. And that didn't prevent him from later on going to advance his education. And of course, nothing stopping people who are college educated from learning a trade. But the point is, all of it's needed. I understand tech, which is why I can be here in the middle of the afternoon and have money to live. This is up and talk to you, doing my tech thing, in a very minor way, but there's a lot more. I've talked to y'all about crypto and PD, have I not? It requires all three to be prosperous in today's economy. So I would encourage anyone listening to me who's still going back and forth about this argument. And, and by the way, Black Women Making Money did a response to this, which with I don't disagree, but just have a different take about it. You know, the bus driver conversation emphasizes the fact that you, know, you are likely to end up with the status of the five people closest to you. So maybe you don't want all bus drivers, but I can tell you this, if you expand that five to seven, and you have some trades folks, some college educated, some tech workers in there, you got five people to work with. Don't get so caught up on what it's gonna look like to your college educated or tradesmen or tech friends that you are a bigot. Because anybody who understands the economy understands that all three aspects must work together. Meaning that all three workers need and deserve respect if they're doing their job well. They keep the economy going. And ladies, y'all think you're going to be hypergamous. You're not. Except marrying another snob, unless you understand this. But just understand, should you marry a bigot of another race, this is where that bigot sees you going back to, since you do not have understanding of how an economy works based on the behavior that we've seen. You're going to go back to the hell. Gentlemen, you already know what time it is. Folks have plans for you because you just you value education. Folks have plans for you to just go back to prison. You already know what time it is. Well, and I can just hear black men talk. Well, there are other ed groups of women that can be educated and actually treat their man like a man. Here's the thing. Nobody rejects a man. Nobody respects a man who devalues his own sister and his own mother. No one respects a man who devalues education in an economy that requires all three aspects. So again, you're going to end up with a woman that doesn't value you and doesn't respect you either. Because as I say all the time, bigotry is not going to get you except with other bigots. Bigotry is very near a form of insanity. Bigotry shows ignorance. In the same way that white people sometimes like to pretend they're superior, where if you do your history, you know that every single civilization thing they have is built on someone darker than them and their civilization. See, bigotry only works when you stay stupid. Well, the same thing goes for this argument about bus drivers and college education and people not taking the time they need to master the tech. Everybody else is out here looking at us like we've just shown up ignorant because we are showing our bigotry and our ignorance at the same time. Now, I'm not talking about relationships. I'm not saying you have to be married to a bus driver. I'm not saying you have to be educated, married to anybody college educated. I'm not saying you have to be married to a tech worker. I'm not saying any of that. I also have not mentioned I'm an artist. So, and, so uh, yeah, I'm not saying you have to be married to an artist or an artist sign. I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying, watch yourself. Watch yourself. Watch your disrespect for whoever is not you. Watch how you how you are copying white supremacist behavior you don't even know. 
Watch how you are not giving respect to human beings who are doing essential work to the economy. If you are a black man or a black woman and you betray this kind of attitude, you are endangering yourself. Because you're already slated for the permanent underclass. And every time we engage in these arguments and act and just get out there and let people know we don't have respect for other people that hold up the economy, we are confirming that that is exactly where we belong in a class system. Because other people already have their economies. Every ethnic group beside us has a functioning economy and a plug in to the American total economy. We're out here having women talk down to the men about bus driving and other things, and men talk down to women about college education, and everybody's missing the point. And nobody seems to be in those arguments spending enough time getting those tech skills. Danger, 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 black woman. Danger, 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 black man. Danger. As I say often, remove your foot from the abyss. Find something else to talk about. Try not to get caught up in these arguments. Try to refocus. Get these skills. Learn what Bitcoin and ChatGPT and all of this. Don't be afraid of them. Learn. Uh, Bitcoin and, and the associated cryptos are down this week. They may go down 15, 20, 30 percent more. So this is another buying opportunity coming up for you. If you learn how to get involved, now in the United States it is a little bit more complicated than it was since the United States is basically trying to shake out U.S. citizens who are scared and don't know how to be creative. They would like to not let us have access to things outside the legacy financial system. So, but they know that crypto may not be stoppable, but they are definitely trying to shake us out. Europe is also doing the same thing because, again, the old colonial system does not want people to have access to things that they do not directly control. But all that being said, there's still a lot of opportunity out here. Yes, there is uh, at least presumably a recession, but there's a lot of opportunity out here. Redirect your energy so that you can take advantage and be successful. Again, all of these arguments that we're doing are just letting people know that we don't know how to redirect our energy. We don't understand what makes an economy, and we're going to stay right where we are. You don't need to do that. You do not need to do that. But as always, the choice is up to you. Okay, I don't know what this bug is that's landing on me. It doesn't seem to be doing any harm. So we're going to just live and let live, and I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.